Hello, precious standards. It is Lakedra, and thank you all so much for joining me on this Friday. It's so good to be with you all again. I just wanted to come on real quick and give you all another word of encouragement and remind you to trust in the word of God's promises. They are true in Jesus' name. He has already paid the price with his blood. He has already promised to heal, deliver, and set free and bring these things to pass to all those that will believe him. As he tells us in his word, whatever you pray for. In fact, he says, you can pray for anything. And if you believe you've received it, it will be yours. And for many of us, we have to be honest with our own selves. If you believe that you are struggling with doubt and unbelief, ask the Lord to help you in your unbelief as the man whose son was possessed by the enemy. That man was honest. He said, Lord, help my unbelief. And he saw breakthrough. And so for you all that are struggling, anyone that's struggling, you know, we all struggles because it's not easy. Believe in God for things we cannot see when it looks impossible. God understands. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. We cannot believe for the things that are not seen and the things that we are hoping for to turn around in our life without God. He is our faith. He is our faith, precious standards. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. Give it to God. He is able to strengthen you and help you to see and give you that assurance that your spouse is coming back to life. That heart is turning around just like he raised Lazarus back. To life after four days that spouse of yours is coming back to life this is why you are seeing this behavior people of God there is a deep sleep there is a spiritual death this is why you are witnessing adultery and the rejection and the mental abuse and some even physical abuse it is the enemy but God in his mercy and grace through your believing in him is what's going to bring them out as he told Martha, Martha did not tell you that if you will believe, you will see the glory of God. You know, it was hard for Martha too as well, Lazarus' sister. Because after four days, you are going to still be able to raise my brother up from the dead. And she said, Lord, he's thinking now, meaning it's no way he could come back. But Jesus was waiting, standing there, ready to roll away the stone. And many are having a hard time believing that that spouse can come back to life and that marriage could rise up and be what God has promised. But I'm telling you, it's time to take the stone away from your heart. Roll the stone away from your heart. By the grace of God. Begin to tell that mountain of unbelief and doubt to go and throw itself in the sea. Begin to tell these things that are hindering and blocking you from receiving what God is ready to give you. Tell it to go. Because a lot of times it's us. It's our unbelief people of God that stops us from seeing the glory of God. And God wants to set you free. And so I'm going to pray as well that many of you all get free from doubt and unbelief so you can walk in that freedom of faith. So you can begin to declare the word of God and have expectation and, and see the salvation of the Lord and see that victory. It won't be long. There are coming many testimonies. You know, God has been really strengthening my faith as well because it has been a fight of faith. But God has helped me and I know he's going to help you all too as well, people of God, as you don't give up and be honest with God. Just lay out your heart before him. Ask him to help you whatever, with whatever struggles you are having. And he will help you. He's our present help. I'm telling you there is coming breakthrough. You know I can sense it even in my spirit. Breakthroughs. Things turning around. God bringing forth my husband. Bringing him out. Things being as God promised. And this is the assurance God wants all of you all to have. It doesn't matter if there has been a divorce. God can do anything. 
God is greater than it all. I'm telling you, precious standards. Think about that. If God can raise the dead after four days, he can raise that marriage of yours that's been dead for four years, four months. It doesn't matter. God is saying, just believe me. I need you all to cooperate with me. I need one to be in agreement with me. I want you to be open and we join together by faith. This is what the Lord needs so that the mountain can move. Hallelujah. Your heart will bring forth the declarations and the truth about what God says about you. So God is saying, I need that heart of yours to be released. I need that heart of yours free from doubt and unbelief and fear. And that comes by hearing the word. That comes by seeking and calling out to the Lord. Asking God to help you believe and stand. And trust in him because you can't do it. And I believe that when we are honest with God. That's what sets us free. That's what removes the stony stubborn heart. That's what causes a stony stubborn heart. Unbelief. That's why the people of Israel the Bible says. Didn't make it into the promised land. Because of their hardness of hearts. Which was unbelief. They didn't believe God. And so we don't want that to be in our hearts. God has already given it. And now we on the other side, the receiver has to take it in, has to take it by force, has to walk in it. Praise the Lord. There are coming breakthroughs. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Get ready for what's coming your way. You will see the glory of God in that marriage. And so now I want to pray. Join with me, people of God. Father, I thank you for everyone that has joined me. Lord God, help those that are struggling with unbelief. Lord, help their hearts to believe and receive that promise of restoration and salvation for their loved ones. That you was able to bring them back from the dead. That it doesn't matter what it looks like in the natural. Help them, oh God, each and every one of them to walk by faith and not by sight. Give them that supernatural power and grace. To do it inwardly, Lord God. Not from the mind, but from the heart. For you are the spirit of faith and grace to help us in our weaknesses. In Jesus' name, Father. Thank you that breakthroughs are coming forth. Spouses are coming out. Chains are being broken. Divorce cases are being overturned. Thank you, Lord God. That spirit of bondage is leaving now. The forces of darkness is leaving now eyes are being opened in jesus name hallelujah thank you lord god ungodly relationships are being broken thank you lord god walls of hostility and enmity and division and separation are coming down as the walls of jericho we thank you and receive it father praise your name thank you for helping the standards see it oh god thank you for opening up their eyes their ears Enlightening their understanding. Helping them to take it by faith. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for helping them. And helping each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, oh God. Thank you, Lord God. Our spouses are coming home. It's just a matter of time. Lord God, I thank you that it'll be days, weeks, months, oh God. Thank you, Lord God. Things are turning around quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Minds are opening up. Spouses are being released. The destroyer that made them waste their lives on the things of this world is going forth, leaving from them in Jesus name by our faith in you. Thank you, Jesus. That mountain is being thrown into the sea. Hallelujah. And our enemies are being scattered under our feet. Oh, God, we are crushing them. Thank you, Jesus. That doubt and unbelief. Is gone now in Jesus name and the people's hearts are able to believe and receive oh God what they have been asking you for in Jesus name hallelujah and all the people of God says amen amen and amen precious standards I'm believing the Lord is going to give you a word to hide in your heart a prophetic word of what is coming your way and that word is 
God has made you one. I'm believing God is going to begin to speak to you all about so many of his promises. That marriage shall illustrate Christ and the church united into one. In Jesus' name. And until next time, God loves you and I love you too. Bye-bye.